Wolfsbone. Wolfsbone Entertainment. We branched out. You know, bank robbery, that ain't something we thought about doing. It just ended up becoming something that was a hustle. Right. We just all stopped selling dope and started robbing. Right, you was coming on fatter, more weight. Yeah, it was getting like 50 to $100,000 weight. Yeah, come on, young niggas. Man, yeah. like yeah. young, like, yeah. but we, the only thing, like I say, we was that young that we didn't know nothing else but right. the hood. So right. our thing was, we just might get a Chevy right. and spend fifty thousand dollars on it and, and beat. That's when beat was costing. You now you gonna put you gonna cost, pay like twelve thousand just right. to have some beat zap codes and yeah. four fifteens and we was having all the hatches on you. Yeah, but we was also young niggas that was right. having girlfriends right, at the time. Right. Mm -hmm. We had kids and we was yeah, like, yeah. I had kids. That's what my son is. Right, right. And where he at? Uh, you know, yeah. I had kids when I was like sixteen, fifteen. We was yeah, doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. girlfriends. Well, Apartments and shit. Yeah, really high. Yeah, yeah I told you I was selling dope. keys at, at already young age. Yeah. yeah. The Trail TV came out on what the early 2000s. No, with 2002. 2003. 2003. I remember when we was talking about doing it, and the first day we start filming, we uh, we going down and sat. We in sat. We pull up on a uh, 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 like it's a bike thing. Right. Motherfucker on the motorcycles, you know, yeah, yeah. Pepsi Cola. I think they were yeah. doing a commercial. So when Dre come over there, all these motherfuckers is Mac Dre fans. Hmm. Every biker, and, man, we Dre this, Dre. I'm like, so Dre like you know doing the Mac Dre <laughs> shit. Dude, kind of they drunk already, yeah. been drinking beer and all that. Dude, don't supposed to jump into tomorrow. Uh -huh. They ain't got the Pepsi shit set up, the 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 uh, the ramp. Yeah. So dude, like I'm gonna jump for Matt Dre. And they say I'm gonna jump for Matt Dre. So oh, we yeah. like, oh, they were like, no, don't. The people telling him, don't do it. He's not jumping for Matt Dre. Like, no, I'm jumping for Matt Dre. We like, yeah, we got our cameras. Trail <laughs> TV, Trail <laughs> TV, yeah. Trail Television. So, so we ain't tripping. So niggas get off. He do the shit, but he already like wiggling a little bit on the bike. So he get set up for the shit. Man, this motherfucker, great. Do the do the jump. We looking. I'm like, damn. I seen him jump. Man, I don't look like dude gonna make it on the record. <laughs> I'm looking, this motherfucker gonna look like he he already starting off slow. I'm like, oh shit, this nigga ain't making it. This motherfucker going, going. This motherfucker hit the guess right here. That nigga flipped over Dear. and died. We was Damn, like, he died. He didn't die, but you oh, know, I'm like, oh, oh, God, that was say, though. Right. So we like, this nigga dead. Oh, like, oh, oh, right. So so this we yelling out, right? We like, oh man, we like tripping. So when he, he he did something, we made a move. Right. So that's when we started. Like, oh, okay, oh yeah, this nigga yeah. died. So we start we start out calling people on the phone. I'm like, man, it's a man that died. Uh, These people looking at us like, man, y'all, what is wrong with y'all? Y'all y'all think this funny? They just jumped for you. He just crashed. Man, back Dre, man this nigga Dre said, uh, you get it first here. Yeah, right. Man, them people were so mad. You get it first here. I remember that on the truth. Man, this was a humbug. I swear to God, uh, man, we ended up riding over there and dude saw Dre and said, I'm going to jump for you. He was tipsy and I swear, that nigga died. What did Dre say when it happened? You get it first on <laughs> Trill T, A, B, C, somebody say, none of these people, I, you get it first, yeah, uh, dumb like, people. Hey, that was good, we couldn't believe it, we was like, man, it's meant for us to make this. <laughs> like, how you get some footage like this on the first day out? This nigga <laughs> died on his died, oh, we was like, dumb shit. Lady, yeah, you already knew, man, you bring you couldn't believe out. it. Huh. Once we saw him do his thumbs up, we'd start filming him. We're like, we, you, know, you know, if he would die, we wouldn't really, yeah. we, probably, we probably, no, we probably filmed it still. Yeah, that's that's crazy, crazy, I don't bro. know. Yeah, we probably still have filmed it back. Uh, Doobie was already rapping with y'all around that time? Yeah, Doobie, see, uh, we went to jail. Like I told you, Doobie and them, we got out Doobie and them had record deals. Right. This niggas could have went to the uh, fucking college. Oh, he was playing football? Right? All the shit. Nigga had scholarships, nigga broke OJ record in Frisco, all the shit. Come on, you he couldn't get all the shit, but he ended up getting uh, a music money. It was equivalent to right now money instead of waiting going through the years of college right. and you know probably you know the money back in that day we got was was right. that was money yeah, so yeah. he he went in and did his music shit so by the time Dre got out Doobie was already on yeah. so Doobie the first nigga that put Dre on the first CD when he got out 
Okay. Mm. It was late after that. Yeah. I'm a sugar wolf. Yeah, that yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the game I be spitting. Yeah, uh-uh. yeah, that right there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's that's that classic. Yeah. When he made that song, doing my thing. That's the album oh, yeah, that Dre yeah, on. Yeah. Okay. That's the album that's, 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 uh, that's the album that he signed. They signed on Atlantic Record. Oh, that's man. the uh, deal with Kyrie. Oh, that's the Kyrie album. Went, yeah, Kyrie. Uh, yeah. Let that play. He's always play that song. He that, I think, I think he, uh, they lost that deal or something. And by the time Dre got out, that's when we in, they ended up starting Romp Records. Oh, Hell yeah. yeah. Classic shit. Yeah, that, that's from that's from Romp. That's when '96 started. Uh, you made something. I think I don't know if it was a song or an album, a thousand grams or something like that. Yeah, that was like more of a uh, compilation. compilation. And I really don't even do shit like that. Right. And the cold thing is, when I did that shit, I was uh, I think it was a million dollars worth of cocaine in front of me. I looked at the uh, Tony Montana. Yeah. yeah. I took that image, and them niggas get the fucking indictment right there. Damn. So it looked like I was. <laughs> Same, uh, looked like I was the uh, kingpin of the, uh, yeah, the operation. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Kilo He's curtain, man. Yeah, yeah, I said, yeah, I don't yeah, yeah. picture. I right never here. do. Huh. I don't even do album covers. Huh. I said, man, I, I said, man, I said, man, I ain't never doing a motherfucker. Yeah, after this one, look. Yeah, oh yeah. I'm telling you. I had guns, Uzi, <laughs> oh, everything that get you indictment on that motherfucker. I'll tell you, that's main. A thousand grand, and I named the thing a thousand, a thousand grand. grand right? yeah. I used to call my. So I used to say, boy, my nigga begging to go to jail. That's crazy. I used to say the camera was my thousand grounds. That's my break. That's yeah. what I used to say, you feel me? That's, yeah, that's, shit, that's what stood out to me when I seen them. Like, that was a good me ask them about that. Yeah, on the uh, so it's the same team, the uh, Mandela's. Uh-huh. So they got it. They had a motherfucker, you know, in, in jail. You know what I'm saying? They be having like like punks and shit. Like you know right, what I'm right, saying? Right. So we we call them we call them and then we call them like gumps and shit. Gumps? So that's like you know so yeah. uh, you know uh, so this motherfucker raw though. Like like one of the hardest motherfuckers in baseball and softball and the and shit. So I end up as we start playing, you know, we start playing with each other, this motherfucker on our team. You know, I know the motherfucker, the motherfucker, they call the motherfucker Tasha. Tasha. This motherfucker is a white man, nigga with hair, his hair blew out, he don't got no hair right here. Oh, that's Manny. Motherfucker was a punk though, so right, right, right. you know, and it's, it's some so <laughs> motherfucker play baseball and do all the shit. Raw as a motherfucker. Right. So, so I ended up getting a team. It was called Second to None. Really, my partner had a team, but he ended up going to the hole. This nigga named uh, my partner from Portland named Chuck Pretty. This motherfucker had a team. This nigga named Chuck Pretty. This motherfucker then you know, you know, nigga called himself Pretty. You yeah, know, yeah. It was crazy about black <laughs> Chuck Pretty couldn't tell that nigga he wasn't fine. Can't, can't tell, tell him nothing. Man, so with a name like Chuck Pretty. Yeah, so this nigga go to the hole. So I ended up taking over the team. Uh-huh. Me and Big Don. So. I'm trying to build people, and I know this motherfucker Tasha. So I'm asking when I was on the Mandela, my my uh, the coach of that team, Dirty Red. So I asked him, man, you know, uh, what's up with you? He said, man, you gotta go talk to Big Mel. I said, what you mean, talk to Big Mel? He says, you know, that's the that's the, her dude. <laughs> It's pinch shit too much. Yeah, fuck right. it, this is the rule. I don't give a fuck. Yeah, I don't, give, I don't somebody somebody give a fuck about that. Jerry shit. So, man, I go over to the motherfucker. Big male, this motherfucker, this motherfucker be having all the punks. This nigga got about seven punks. Motherfucker got the, uh, this motherfucker got the, uh, you know, like the blanket. Yeah. Picnic basket. He got punks. This motherfucker, so he a big nigga, like a big male. This motherfucker throwing punks up, like, playing with him. You know how kids, you play with your kid? He trolling these motherfuckers. Oh my god, damn it, the pen. So fuck it, the pen, I don't give a fuck. Right? So. I'm just trying to build a team. So I go over there, I'm like, uh, Big Mel. Uh, so I said, Big Mel, he said, yo, you want that bitch Tasha, huh? On your team, huh? I said, yeah, man. He was like, yeah, you, that bitch good, huh? I'm listening, I'm like, man, this, man, he making me call this motherfucker a bitch. I'm like, fuck it, yeah. <laughs> so, motherfucker get on my team, this motherfucker used to come to the game. Uh, you know, you think y'all see that shit on TV, that shit really in real life. That motherfucker should be in the bleachers. Yeah. With these motherfuckers, they yelling. This motherfucker Tasha was good as a motherfucker though. He played third base on my motherfucking team. I ain't gonna lie, it's a punk. He, he was wrong. And the motherfucker hit him. He gotta go recruit him. That motherfucker did not jump in his arms and shit Come when on. he hit a home run. You know, you know, you winning, you in the game and shit. But hell yeah, that motherfucker. That shit. Big male, that motherfucker be twirling the motherfucker. You and like a kid, you eat. Picking, catching them and shit. That's I'm like, God, God, that's damn, that's, that's a crazy. hell of a shit right here. Yeah, we're second now. We're hella raw. I had every good nigga on the team. Yeah, 